Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I want to show you a little trick that you can do when you're luring boar that you may ultimately decide you don't want to try, but it could be interesting to at least hear about. Now, I'm no expert, but when I'm luring my boar, I shoot it twice and send a villager in, and when it arrives, I get the other villagers in the area to shoot it, finally killing it after 23 additional shots. Usually, I'll have six or seven villagers there doing that, so it ends up being three or four shots from each villager, which takes time. And during that whole thing, the boar can run around to weird places that I don't want it to, or attack villagers that I don't want it to. So I'm always thinking in the back of my mind about how I can improve this very routine action of boar luring that I do twice every game. Now a really fast way to kill the boar would be to garrison the villagers in the town center. I can kill the boar in just a couple of shots that way. But the problem is I lose all of the food that the boar had, which in my view isn't ideal. What I want is a way to blend those two things to get the best of both worlds and get the speed and safety advantage of using the town center to quickly bring down the boar's health, but to make sure the final shot is done by a villager outside the town center. So let's take a look at the math behind how to do that every time. A good place to start is by figuring out how the town center arrows work. In the Dark Age, each villager fires one arrow in the town center when it's garrisoned up to a maximum of 10. At the start of the game, those arrows do 5 damage, whereas a normal hunter does 3 damage. Just to point it out, the town center damage does increase with fletching, bodkin arrow, bracer, and chemistry. So keep that in mind if you're luring outside of the Dark Age for some reason. So assuming you did two shots to start the lure, we can expect the boar to be at 69 out of 75 health as it arrives at the town center. So we have to make sure we do less than that amount of damage with the town center arrows. If you have your original six sheep villagers hanging out as the boar is coming in, they can take two shots at it, doing 30 damage each shot, and that would leave the boar at 9 HP, which is going to make it very easy to finish off. Even three villagers can do that in one shot. The obvious advantage here is the total damage done by the boar to your villagers is reduced, but the less obvious advantage we need to consider is we can save a bit of villager work time, since clearly they can't gather anything while they're firing at the boar. Depending on how well it's executed, it's in the range of 5 to 15 food. Not a huge advantage for sure, but it's not hugely out of your way to do either. And don't forget, that's on top of saving the villager health. But what about the second boar if I have more than 6 villagers under the town center, or if you tend to use different number of villagers than I have here? That's actually not a problem, and it turns out that if you shot either 2 or 3 times to lure it in, as you usually do, it just can't take more than 13 town center arrows, or it dies. 14 is the magic number. Just remember this little poem. <clears throat> 13 or less is a total success. 14 or more, and you'll kill the boar. It's easy to do that calculation on the fly, since each garrison villager fires one arrow. As long as the shots multiplied by the number of villagers doesn't equal 14 or greater, then you're golden. Keep in mind that if you garrison 7 villagers and take 2 shots, you've already hit the 14 and you're going to lose the entire boar. That brings up the point though of the risk that is involved in this. Obviously, this can be dangerous with lag, and it involves a few extra steps with some critical timing. You're risking 340 food in the boar for maybe 15 health on a villager, and a slight increase in villager efficiency. That might be enough of a deterrent that you would never consider this at all. From an expected value probability point of view, if you think you'll kill the boar at least 5% of the time by accident, then you have a solid argument for not trying this trick. Another thing that can happen is if your town center is firing at a boar and you ungarrison the villagers in it, any new units that you garrison, like the luring villager, will continue to shoot at the boar. That's dangerous, because if you're cutting it close with bringing the boar down to 10 HP or less, that villager's extra arrow or two might be the one that finishes it off. 
It's probably safer to just leave the luring villager out the whole time, setting the rally point beside the villager after you take two shots and doing the ungarrison rather than the back to work button, ideally putting the rally point on the boar before you do that, so they attack it right away when they pop out. And super ideally, you do that all with hotkeys and trying to position the boar right under the town center. But I know that's a lot to take in all at once. If you do manage to set the rally point on the boar, then when you release them, they appear around it and they quickly take it out in one shot. Just to slow that down and talk you through exactly what I'm doing here, as the boar is coming in, I highlight six of my villagers, press G, which is my garrison button, but hover over it to see if your hotkey setup is different. Then I right click on the town center to garrison them, I right click on the boar to shoot it, then I press I, which is my set rally point button, right click on the boar, and once my second round of arrows has fired, I press U, which is my ungarrison button. And they should pop out and automatically attack the boar. So speeding that up a bit, it's G, right click the town center, right click the boar, I, right click the boar, U, and I'm done. An even safer tip to avoid killing the boar with the town center if it's laggy would just be to give it only one round of firing and then ungarrison and finish it off like you normally would. Using one shot of six villagers, you still get half the effect. But that way, even if it's lagging and they fire an extra time, you're still safe. So your odds of accidentally killing it go way down. Let's be honest though, the coolest thing about it is it just looks really slick, and your friends and family will think you're a pro. But just a simple crunching of numbers ahead of time, along with a handy poem, has you set up in such a way that there's no guesswork involved. Just remember, the number of the town center arrows should never exceed 14 in total. So there's one more tool in your tool belt. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.